wish you guys could see this on camera. He's literally digging his bone into the pillows. Are you gonna hide it? It's like shit, I'm busted. She supported me. You and me. my channel for today's video I wanted to film another coffee talk with you guys hence the coffee can we get a round of applause that I actually remembered to make this prior to sitting down for this video it is a rare occasion but I'm glad today was one of them holy shiznits that's a really good coffee Let's dive in. So recently I asked some of you guys what kind of coffee talks you wanted to see and a lot of you were talking about relationships, being single, being on your own and all of that so I decided to do a whole coffee talk on how to be single. Now if you guys didn't know this, pretty much since the time I was 15 I was in a relationship and then I had two relationships after that that happened so shortly after that I never really got a chance to be single until last year. I spent about a year and a half being completely single. I got to live with my best friend. I got to live on my own for a year. So much of who I am right now came from that year and a half of kind of feeling lost and single. Bentley, you're making a massive mess, bro. We're trying to have some deep talks over here. So I mean, maybe I wasn't fully single because there was always one boy. As time started to progress, I actually, I started to struggle with it and I, I found it kind of difficult and there were so many things that I was doing completely wrong and so many like perspectives and mindsets I had that were really wrong and now if it wasn't for that phase I think there's a lot of life lessons I would have been able to learn about not only life but myself and so I kind of came up with a little how-to system on how to be single my first tip when it comes to being single is stop needing somebody to fill up your time I feel like we live in a world where we're like we're so flooded with social media we're so connected but not connected at the same time that we fear the thought of being alone we constantly think we need to fill our time with other people so that you know, we don't have to face the things about ourselves that we maybe don't like, or maybe we've become so lost or so out of touch with ourselves that spending time alone, we get so bored we don't know what to do. What we sometimes fail to realize is that you don't need somebody else to make you feel whole. You need that relationship with yourself. And I know that that sounds super corny, but it's true. A lot of the times we think that if we're alone, if we're not constantly with a best friend, if we're not constantly with somebody, if we have to go to an event without a plus one or someone on your arm, that we're missing something that we need. And we, we aren't. All you need is yourself. If you can build a strong enough relationship within yourself, you'll understand and realize that there is no insistent need to be around another person at all times, whether it be a friend or a boyfriend or whatever. Read, watch the shows that you like to watch, do things on your own, find new hobbies, find new interests, spend hours on your computer, on Tumblr, like just start loving yourself the way you're waiting around for somebody else to come along and love you. Tip number two when it comes to how to be single is to try new things solo. Travel alone, take yourself out for dinner, take yourself out for the movies, try a new hobby, try a new class, go to boxing, whatever it is, do things by yourself. It is the most daunting slash terrifying thing in the world, but it's also the most liberating and gratifying thing to do it. Learning to do things by yourself, it gives you a sense of strength because one, you don't feel the need to be talking to somebody, you don't feel the need to care if anyone sees you out by yourself, you're just like, yeah, I, I wanted to try this new sushi joint, so here I am eating a yam roll and doing some emails on my phone. It's also important to realize that 99% of the time when you think everybody's pointing and thinking, wow, that girl's by herself, what a loser, they aren't thinking anything at all. Odds are they probably don't even notice. The only opinion that might get in your way is your own if you have some false belief that you need somebody to do something with you at all times. Go out, try new things all by yourself, and I'm kidding you, as scary and as anxious it might be at the beginning, by the end of it you'll learn so much about yourself and you'll have such an inner sense of strength to be able to go out and do things by yourself that when you eventually do have somebody to do them with, it'll almost be one of those things where you're like, can you, can you, can you not come? Tip number three when it comes to how to be single is realize your worth and your potential. Stop spending your time wondering what you can offer to a guy and start asking what you can offer to the world or to yourself or to your own life. Start taking care of yourself, start doing things for you and not for anybody else's attention or anyone else's approval. You want to work out and eat healthy? Great, but do it for a sense of taking care of who you are. If you want to get your hair done a certain way or wear certain clothes, all power to you. Do it for you. Do it so that you feel good. Do it so that you build up the life that you love for yourself. You have to learn to treat yourself with the respect that you're waiting around to get from other people, whether it's the approval for what you're wearing, the approval for the way you look, 
what you want to say, what you want to do, who you are as a person. Stop waiting for somebody to come along and make you feel like you're good enough and tell yourself that you're good enough. You have to learn to be confident exactly how you are for exactly who you are. And once you do that, you've officially mastered being single. Tip number four when it comes to how to be single is be selfish. This is the best time for you to be selfish. Find your hobbies, your tastes, your interests, and very unapologetically fill every ounce of your time with them. Watch the really lame, corny Netflix series that you binge watch because nobody's around to judge you. Take that trip to New York by yourself or choose the floral bedspread and the hot pink couch. You have absolutely nobody around telling you that you can't do these things. Not that being in a relationship means you can't, it just means this is the time to make all the choices you want to make as selfishly as you want because you don't have anybody else to keep in mind at this point. This is a perfect time for you to get out and explore your tastes and explore your hobbies and just be as selfish with your time as you want to be. It's literally the time you have to have everything exactly how you want it. And my last and final tip is to stop thinking that something is missing from your life because it isn't. This was something that I struggled with the most. At first I was like, woohoo! And then all of a sudden a few months in, I started looking around at all the people around me that were in relationships and I started to think that there was something missing from my life because I didn't have that. Everything about you and your life is perfect just as it is. There will be a day that someone's going to enter your life and they're going to become your person and your everything but just because they aren't here yet doesn't mean they're missing. It just means that this phase of your life isn't over yet and that phase isn't here yet. It means there's still so much for you to do before that happens. There's still so much for you to learn and grow. There's still so much potential in this phase of your life and that's why it isn't here yet. It doesn't mean it's missing, it just means it's on its way. Enjoy this part of your life while it's here and while you still have it. If you walk around thinking that something's missing or thinking that you're a loser because you're single, it'll turn you bitter towards love, it'll turn you bitter towards other people, and then in turn, it's going to attract more of that type of negativity in your life. When you become so confident and full of just being by yourself, other couples and lovey-dovey things don't bother you. You appreciate them because you know that's gonna be you one day, but at the same time, you're allowed to enjoy exactly where you are without being that lovey-dovey, in a relationship, mushy-gushy person yet. See this phase of being single as a gift. One day the lessons you learn and everything that you go through, all these hardships of trying to figure out how to be yourself is going to fit like a puzzle piece into your future life where suddenly you'll understand things in relationships or suddenly you'll understand things about yourself or in your life that you wouldn't have figured out if you were never single and got that time to figure it out and go through it. And eventually it will all make sense. So for now, and I mean realistically forever, but especially for now, be your own best friend take yourself out, understand your potential, and realize that there is nothing missing in your life just because you're single. So that is it for today's coffee talk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your guys' thoughts on how to be single down below. If you guys have anything to add, any tips, or if you have like a story, are you single? Are you not single? Let me know. I'm obviously not single anymore, but I can honestly tell you that if it wasn't for that year and a half of being single, I don't think I would appreciate my new relationship so much more. And I also don't think I would have been mature enough or ready enough for this relationship had I not. You just have to have faith that it's all gonna make sense one day and everything happens for a reason. And trust me, the universe will just unfold this amazing life for you. You just kind of have to trust. And with that, I love you guys to the moon and back. Know that you're never, ever fully single because, hey, I'm here. Other than that, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. Sometimes you gotta bleed to know That you're alive and have a soul But it takes someone to come around to